Um, I'm, I'm really excited, uh, and mostly for myself and uh, you know the future generation of boxers that we have over there, because we actually have a lot of good boxers, but they just they're unable to come out of that area. So hopefully we can build a path for those boxers in the future. Yeah, um, I think your last fight was canceled. Yeah, you were, you were upset about that on Twitter, man. That was a big opportunity for you. Yeah. But here you are on a on another big card on the zone. How excited are you just to show what you got to show, show the world? Um, I, I'm very excited. I, I'm more anxious to fight because I haven't been in the ring in a while since September. Uh, I just want to hurry up and, and fight. How do you stay? Um, how do you stay ready? Like, how do you stay active and engaged in the sport when you have such a long layoff? Uh, longer I mean, than you want. It's not like a long layoff. No, I, I don't have a long layoff at all. I, you know, I mean, you take a week off. You, you need to let your body recuperate. But once, once I'm done, you know, resting or whatever, you know, my, my fire is there. It, it, it just, it's a roaring fire. It doesn't, it never gets put out. And uh, I work hard in the gym. It just, I keep going. Yeah. Um, I grew up watching Oscar De La Hoya fight. I'm a lot older than you, obviously. But still, you know about Oscar De La Hoya. He's one of the best fighters ever. Yeah. And how is it just being promoted by him and having that influence in your life? Oh, uh, it's, it's an honor being promoted by him. And, you know, just him even knowing who I am, uh, He's uh he's opened up a big opportunity for me uh, and he's uh, promoting me. Uh, he's doing a very good job promoting me. I'm thankful for having him. Looking out for next year, like what do you want to accomplish this year? By the end of this year or early next year, I would hope to be world champion or at least get some type of big title or something.